What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shinado, also known as Jungle here on YouTube. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and consider subscribing down below. So today, we'll be going over some of the plans that I got for the month of May. I know it's already June, but better late than never. I just wanted to share this with you guys so that whenever I do another house plan update, you guys aren't caught off guard with some of the new plans that I got. And all the plans that I got are actually all Calatheas. So I have the plants together with my other higher humidity loving plants in this little corner over here. This little corner gets a little bit more attention um, primarily because it's in my room and I'm here almost all the time. So I can monitor them all the time and make sure that they get all the care that they need. So the first plant that I want to share with you guys is the Calathea ornata or the pinstripe calathea i believe is also what's known as so i actually have this in a cash po and i actually put a cloth underneath it as well to kind of make myself a uh, self-watering container so that the soil is actually moist at all times uh, from a lot of the care tips that i found online they like to be kept moist but not soggy and i think it's been doing pretty well because i've had this plant for at least two three weeks now and you can see there's really no uh, browning of the edges and all that stuff and it's been really happy I believe in my opinion um, so I actually got this plant from Stein's Home and Garden which is a local family owned plant shop near my work this is a six inch plant um, that cost it around $13 and what's actually awesome or what's actually beautiful about this plant is it has dark green glossy leaves with white or pink streaks on them um, which I just find very beautiful and I, a lot of these uh, Calatheas or the Marantisiae family I've really become to like them a lot primarily because the patterns on them are just so beautiful and each one's unique so I tend to gravitate towards them so the next plant that I want to share with you guys is the Calathea Makoyana or the Peacock plant. Um, so I got this plant from Home Depot. This is a six inch planter that I got for $10. And what I like about this plant, just like the other one, it has green, glossy, broad oval leaves with very dark green oblong kind of patches, which I guess kind of resembles like uh, peacock feathers. Um, but what I like about them is primarily because of the patterns themselves and also how they have that purple on the sides just like all the other Calatheas on there. So I've been wanting this plant for a while. It's been in my wish list and I actually found this as I said from Home Depot. Uh, my boyfriend and I were at Home Depot just kind of looking for a plant that he may want. Spoiler alert. Um, so but as we were leaving I actually saw this in the corner of my eye in the very bottom of the shelves. And there was only like two or three left, which shocked me because I've never thought that I'd find a Makoyana at Home Depot. So um, I believe it was such a great find. I was super surprised and I'm really happy with it. The last plant that I want to share with you guys is the Calathea orbifolia. So this is also a six inch pot that cost me, I believe, $20. And this was from also Stein's Home and Garden. Um, again, the plant store near my work. That's what I like about them. They have a lot more of the uncommon house plants. So I like to take a show there every week or every other week just to see what they have in stock. What I like about this is they have such large, lush, vibrant green leaves with kind of a mix like silvery stripes, which kind of look like candy canes, I guess. Um, but what I like about this is actually it gets fairly large so I can't wait till this plant actually gets big and actually get much bigger and bigger leaves. So can't wait. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update on the plants that I got for the month of May. Again, I am really liking the Marantisiae family and the prayer plants in general. So hopefully if you guys like this video, again, consider subscribing down below. Until next time, peace.